name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess to Almighty God, in the name of my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Genesis 8 verses 6 to 13 and 20 to 22. At the end of forty days Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark. And he sent out a raven. To see if the waters had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried off from the earth. Then he sent out a dove. To see if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch. And it returned to him in the ark. For there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove. And drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more and again sent the dove out from the ark. In the evening the dove came back to him. And there in its bill was a plucked off olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days and then released the dove once more. And this time it did not come back. In the six hundred and first year of Noah's life. In the first month, on the first day of the month. The water began to dry up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering of the ark. And saw that the surface of the ground was drying up. Noah built an altar to the Lord and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird. He offered burnt offerings on the altar. When the Lord smelled the sweet odor, he said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man. Since the desires of man's heart are evil from the start. Nor will I ever again strike down all living beings, as I have done. As long as the earth lasts. Seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night, shall not cease. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord? For all the good he has done for me. The cup of salvation I will take up. And I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay. In the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, 
I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for this day. We ask God to answer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise, and grant that cleansed by his actions we may make offerings of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread to the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we need to give those who trespass against us, and give us an opportunity to take action, or deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for many evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For Lord, I am not worthy that you should take my mind, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.